following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 6, 1975, in New York. Now I am attracted to those instructions imparted to me by the personality of Godhead, Govinda, because they are impregnated with instructions for relieving the burning heart in all circumstances of time and space. Desho kalat juktani Hityapo pushamani Haranti smaratas chityam Govinda Abhitani me this word hit tapo upasamani hit means heart and tapo means uh, miseries or burning heat tapo means burning heat if there is fire and uh, there is heat Sometimes it is intolerable. So, hittāpa means uh, the burning fire blazing within the heart. <coughs> so, that is always anyone who is in this material world he has got this disease, burning fire within the heart. Anyone. Uh, that means severe anxiety. Anyone. Even a small bird, uh, he is also full of anxiety. Uh, you give him some grains, it will come, it will eat at the same time, it will look this way, that way, this way. It will pull away anxiety. Although there is food, he is eating, still there is anxiety. Somebody may come, kill me. Uh, for everyone is full of anxiety. That is the material nature. Nobody can say, no, I am no anxiety. That is not possible. If he says like that, he is a liar. That is not possible. Uh, he, anyone here who can say that he or she has no anxiety? Uh, of course, when you take to Krishna consciousness, there is no anxiety. Uh, that is the distinction. Uh, anxiety there is, but to relieve this anxiety, one has to take to Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, you cannot get this. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so, you may say that sometimes we have got anxiety. Sometimes we are very nice. So even accepting that, uh, Arjun says, Desha kala artha juktani. Desh kal, the time and space within this material world, and artha means purpose. Everything, any time, he, Krishna does not say, Arjuna does not say that sometime, at any time, if we are materially attached, then this hitsāpa, must be hitsāpa means a burning fire, blazing fire within the heart, it will continue. Therefore Narutanda Sthāpa says that viṣāya viṣānale divānisi hiya jāle. This means uh, anyone who is engaged in this material affairs, vishaya. Vishaya means material necessities. Everyone has got material necessities. 
ఆహార నిద్ర వాయోమైతం హౌ టు ఈట్ హౌ టు స్లీప్ వాట్ టు స్లీప్ వాట్ టు గెట్ అపార్ట్మెంట్ వాట్ టు సిక్యూర్ మనీ టు గెట్ ఫుడ్ అండ్ హౌ టు సిక్యూర్ సెక్స్ ప్లేజర్ వెల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అవైలబుల్ మ్యాన్ ఆర్ ఓమెన్ అండ్ హౌ టు డిపెండ్ i have got so much bank balance it may not be taken away i got this property in this way everyone is somebody that's a fact that for narottam das thakur says be shayo vishan ale divanishi hiya jale the heart is burning the same one, same what uh, it is in simple bengali and this is in sanskrit uh, బిషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషాయోషా
భవమహాదాని నిర్మాపనం మెటీరియల్ లైఫ్ దేర్ ఈజ్ ఎ ఫైర్ ఆల్వేస్ భవు మహాదావాని దావాగ్ని మీన్స్ ది ఫారెస్ట్ ఫైర్ ది ఫైర్ ఇన్ ది ఫారెస్ట్ నోడి గోస్ టు సెట్ ఫైర్ ఇన్ ది ఫారెస్ట్ నోడి హెస్ డౌట్ ఎనీ బిజినెస్ టు డూ దాట్ Uh, but it's still there is fire it takes place uh, i mean uh, automatically by the pollution of dry uh, branches of bamboo and other there is electricity and dry leaves that set fire in this way a big fire so similarly in this material world nobody wants that there may be fire and we all burn no nobody burn no. but it happens the jana that bengali song like sukhero lagiya e ghare maghino phagune puriya dal i constructed this house to live very happily unfortunately there was set fire fire was set and everything finished and this is material you should all is Uh, so, uh, Arjun says that when I remember the teachings of Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, then it relieves me. Uh, then it relieves me. Hittāpo upasamāni. Hittāpo, that blazing fire within the heart. Uh, immediately becomes relieved. Uh, so that is also fact. Bhagavad Gita, whenever you are, whenever you are perplexed, you read Bhagavad Gita. You immediately get relieved. That's a fact. Gandhi also said that. Gandhi was a politician, although he could not understand Bhagavad Gita. Neither he could understand Krishna. He still he said that when i read i get great relief you know all is very busy so many political uh, <coughs> problems always coming uh, so there was no spiritual understanding of these politicians uh, sometimes they uh, take the spiritual center so far or uh, uh, getting some benefit out of it so that his political movement may be uh, increased or enhanced. Uh, so we do not wish to discuss. But uh, Bhagavad Gita, even if you read without any uh, actual knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita, still you will feel really Uh, still you will feel it. Just like if you go to the fire, uh, uh, you will feel some warmth. That's a fact. Uh, even you do not know how to uh, uh, enjoy fire, still, because you are near the fire, you will get some warmth. The so Bhagavad Gita is like that. Uh, even if you do not understand by simply hearing the words of Krishna, uh, uh, simply we chant this, manmanābhava-madhu-bhakta-madhyāyimāgna-maskuru, uh, uh, and gradually you uh, do that, satāṁ prasaṅgāt-mava-bīja-saṅvida bhavanti ritkarna rasāyana katha tadyo sanā āsū apavarkavarpani sadhyā bhakti rati yanu pramishyat If you discuss Bhagavad Gita <coughs> among the societies of the devote, oh, oh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Madhvaktesu Abhidhasati. Bhagavad Gita should be discussed among the devotees. Uh, sometimes we discuss Bhagavad Gita among the non-devotees, that is due to higher order. 
had order, Guru Maharaj asked that you go and speak. So we are doing that. Uh, actually, Bhagavad Gita is to be discussed about the devotees. So our hard task is that first of all we have to make one devotee and then uh, let him understand Bhagavad Gita. A double task. Because nobody wants to become devotee. So we are canvassing door to door, country to country, village to village. Sir, please come in our temple. We shall give you nice prasadam. You simply chant Hare Krishna and hear something about Krishna. But still people will not come. Uh, still they will not come. We have to canvas, we have to do so many things. That is the influence of māyā. Māyā is so strong that unless one is very much determined, māyā will be very strong for him. So still, if we understand that this life is meant for understanding Krishna, or to advance in Krishna consciousness. If this much we understand, then also our life is successful. Uh, but you do not take it serious. Uh, you do not take it seriously. That is the difficulty. Uh, actually, uh, as Nartandas Thakur says, that Bhishaya Vishanale Divanishi Hya Jale Tori Vare Nakoidu Upad. Uh, my heart is always burning on account of this material condition of life, and I did not make any uh, means to get out of this encounter. Uh, everyone should be intelligent. An uh, intelligent person will admit that his heart is always burning. That's a fact. Uh, now, if we want to get out of it, then uh, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advises, all the Acharyas advises, and here Arjun also, Arjun directly listened to Krishna, and he says, this is my practical experience, that when I, you are a politician, uh, I, I would mean say, a fighter, he has so many anxieties. Uh, so he used to uh, remember the instruction given by Krishna directly to him. So that instruction, and when we read Bhagavad Gita, that instruction, these two instructions are not different. Don't think that Krishna was present before Arjuna, but in my presence there is no Krishna. I simply have got this book. But you should know that the book and the instruction there is the Bhagavad Gita and Krishna they are absolute one. That is not the point. Uh, we can take advantage of Krishna's presence uh, uh, by reading Bhagavad Gita. I have uh, uh, narrated several times the story of a Brahman in South India. Uh, he was illiterate and he was reading Bhagavad Gita. So his friends, village friends, they knew that this man is illiterate. Uh, how he can read Bhagavad Gita? Uh, so they were criticizing. Uh, Hello, Brahman, how you are reading Bhagavad Gita? So he did not say anything. Because he knew that these friends are criticizing me because I am illiterate, he knows. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came there, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was attracted. He was illiterate and he was reading Bhagavad Gita and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was attracted. Just see. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired, my dear Brahmana, what you are reading. So he also could understand that here is a person 
who has not come to criticize me. Uh, he is serious. Yes, sir, I am reading Bhagavad Gita, but uh, I am illiterate. I am illiterate. Then what you are reading? No, I am simply uh, turning the pages. I cannot read anything. Now why you are reading? If you can. No, my Guru Maharaj ordered me. My Guru Maharaj asked me that you shall read uh, Bhagavad Gita daily, a teacher. Guru Maharaj knew him that he is illiterate, but he still ordered. This is called Guru Mukha Padma Bhakka Chittete Koriya Uyko. Arana Koriya Maneva. This is called Bhag Faith in Guru. Guru ordered him that he read. Guru must know him that he is illiterate. So what he will read? Why Guru is ordering him? But because he had found faith in Guru and he was trying to read, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to see him. Just see. How this line is important. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakka Chitta De Kuriya Arana Kuriya Ad means anything more. You don't try to understand. Whatever your Guru says, you just try to take it up. So what is the next line? Guru Mukha Padma Bhakta Chitta. Sri Guru Charane Rati Sai Se Uttamani. Don't try to make very good advance by manufacturing your own way. Simply, Sri Guru Charana Rati Sai Se Uttamani. That is first class. That is Vedic. Vedic Raya Jahara Chari. The Veda says, Dasya Devi Parabhakti, Jatha Devi, Tatha Guru, Tasyaiti, Pratita Jartya, Prakashanti, Mahatma. To understand, Vedic literature means one must have found faith in Krishna and found faith in Guru. Not that my Guru is not so learned, so let me capture Krishna directly. That is useless. That is useless. Ah. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. One can get the seed of ah, the plant or Kripaya Bhakti. How? Guru Krishna Kripaya. Ah. By the mercy of Guru and by the mercy of Krishna. Not that Krishna Kripa. First Guru Kripa, then Krishna Kripa. So this uh, Brahmana attracted the attention of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was illiterate and uh, he could not read even one word. Uh, what is the uh, truth in it? The same thing. Uh, Guru Mukha Padma Vakta Chitta Dekuriya. He, he took Guru's order very seriously that my Guru Maharaj has ordered me and I must carry out. Never mind, I cannot read. Let me open the pages and see the song. So he was doing that. Tada has criticized him that this man is illiterate, what he is reading. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not criticize. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired, so what you are reading, my dear Brahmana? So he explained that this gentleman has not come to criticize. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew that is a perfect Noara Bhagavad Gita. Still he inquired, well, uh, if you are not reading, then how you are crying? I see there are tears in your eyes. What is it meaning? Then he asked me, yes, yes, and that is. Now what, why you are crying? No, as soon as I take this Bhagavad Gita in my hand, a picture comes before me. That Arjuna is sitting on the chariot, ordering Krishna 
and Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, is carrying out his order and driving the chariot. So that makes me amazed. Therefore, I am crying. Yeah, how Krishna is merciful that he accepted a menial service for his devotee. He is so kind. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately embraced him. Yes, Brahman, your reading of Bhagavad Gita is perfect. So it doesn't matter whether one is illiterate or it. Everyone has got these uh, ears. So we should hear from the uh, realized person, uh, Guru Vaishnava, uh, not professional. No, that will not help us. Tadviddhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya. Upadakshanti tatriyanam jnana tapta darshina. Tapta darshina. Tapta darshina means one has seen the truth. Not superficially. No. One who understood that this is the truth. So go there and submit there. Panipati, no? Pagrishya rupi no nipati, no? Fully surrender there. And then question. Then try to inquire if you cannot understand. First of all, first business is pranipa. Sir, I surrender to you. Sri Shasti Ham Shadimang Prapanna. Arjuna also did so. My dear Krishna, we are talking like friends. This is not solve the problem. Therefore, I am submitting unto you as your disciple. Sri Shasti Ham. I surrender unto you. Now you can teach me. Because as soon as you accept Guru, you have to hear him. Surrender, full surrender. You cannot unnecessarily argue. Of course, if there is any doubt, you can question submissively. But not that I shall test my Guru how he is learning. That will not happen. One must surrender. Uh, so, Kagvidhi Panipati, no? Pari Prasna, you know, Siva. Arjuna did that. Therefore, Arjuna uh, learned the Bhagavad Gita and it was always uh, relief for him when he was perplexity. Haranti Smaratas Chittam. Haranti. What is that haranti? Vittāpa. Vittāpa. The blazing fire within the heart, within the core of the heart, immediately becomes minimized haranti. Smarata chitta. As soon as I remember my consciousness, my heart, core of heart, becomes immediately relieved. Uh, how it is released, why it is released, Govinda avi gītāni me. Govinda is a statue. Govinda means Krishna. Govinda means Krishna. Govinda vādi purisam tamāham bhaya. Govinda. Ishara parama krishna satsidānanda vibhra kanādi rādi. Govinda sarva kārana kārna. Govinda is sarva kārana. So that Govinda is in the statue to Arjuna, personally. How fortunate is Arjuna? But Krishna is so kind that he who actually is serious to understand. So just like this Brahmana took in a statue from his spiritual master, then he began to read Bhagavad Gita. And he realized what is Krishna, what is Govinda. Similarly, if we take seriously the instruction of our spiritual master and try to read Bhagavad Gita according to his instruction, uh, then gradually we shall realize Krishna. Uh, and as we could simply realize Krishna. What is Krishna? <coughs> that is not difficult. Krishna is personally speaking about himself. You haven't got to speculate like nonsense. 
That's like Gandhi speculation. I do not believe that ever any person like Krishna lived. Do you know that? This is Gandhi's state and his Mahatma. Uh, the Mahatma's definition is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Mahatma Rastuman Pratha Devi Pratiti Mahasrika Vajanti Ananda Manati. That is Mahatma. Uh, not to take advantage of Bhagavad Gita. Of course, there are So we do not want to criticize anyone. But sometimes it so happens. Big, big scholars, big, big uh, politicians, they misguide people. That is the position of India. Uh, so many big, big leaders and politicians and so-called samis and yogis, they have exploited people by bluffing. And now uh, India's position is, it is neither spiritual nor material. <laughs> That's all. Just like the example is, if there are two boats and if you place your leg, this boat and that boat, the position is very precarious. <laughs> Neither in this boat nor that in that boat. Fully. So our position is, we are learning technology, and the Western countries that advance in technology always hundred years more. Uh, uh, some years ago there was a big exhibition in Delhi. Uh, the show was that India has manufactured cycle and swing machine. That is a problem. Uh, there is cycle. I think two hundred years ago, was <laughs> manufactured in the Western country, and so also swing machine. So India was very much proud. But now we have got cycles. <laughs> While they are manufacturing big big seven forty seven European, we are manufacturing cycles. <laughs> Medicine also, and technology, that is also technology. They are advanced. We are men for this. They have got brain. They can advance in material position fully. So we cannot compete. We cannot compete. Although it is, this technology is the business of the Shudras. Technology is not the occupation for the brāhmaṇas, kshatriyas, or vaiṣyas. No. In our country still there are blacksmith, weaver, oil crusher, still there are weaver, but they are śūdras. So this technology means a craftsmanship. That is not knowledge. That is not knowledge. Uh, it's like uh, I do not know uh, how this microphone is working. Uh, if it is wrong, some uh, man who knows the art, he repairs it immediately. That does not mean he has not lost knowledge. That particular department he has not knowledge. Knowledge means the one who knows God. This is knowledge. So the Western country, they are taking advancement of knowledge means manufacturing a big motor car. That is also good. But simply for manufacturing motor car, simply for driving motor car, if we forget our real business, not realization, then it is ruinous. Mūrha, mūrha, then we become mūrha. This life, human life, it is not cash and dog's life. It is human life. Athāta brahma One can realize the absolute truth if he is inquisitive. Brahma-jīgyāsa. Just like you are advancing by inquiry. 
जिज्ञासा जिज्ञासु से उत्तम हाँ जिज्ञासु दिस इज हिमदा तस्मात गुरु प्रपत्ते का जिज्ञासु श्रेय उत्तम उत्तम में विच इज नॉट मैथ्यू क्या विच इज बियॉन्ड मैथ्यू उत्तम उत्तम तम जस्मात तम मीन्स डैट हियर दे आर सो कॉल स्कॉलर्स बिग बिग प्रोफेसर साइंटिस्ट एंड बार दे आर इन द डार्क प्लेस तम तम मीन्स डैट दे डू नॉट नो हाउ वॉट दे आर आज एनी साइंटिस्ट एनी ग्रोथ वॉट यू आर इन से आर दिस बॉडी आई एम इंडियन आई एम अमेरिकन आई एम वाइट आई एम ब्लैक आई एम दिस आई एम दैट आई एम क्रिस्टन आई एम हिंदू प्लीज बट ऑल दिस डेजिग्नेशन is outward external you have bad so are it all but everyone is going on big big man identifies himself with this body so there are all fools tama in darkness the sharp would be kuna peeti dhatu ke sadhik kalatra jishubho vaidya di jati thabuddhi salile na karhi chi janeshu avigne saiva gokha So, according to Vedic civilization, any person, he may be very big man, but if he does not know beyond his body, there is no better than anyone. This is Vedic. So we we should not remain anyone. This human life, uh, and what you say, there there are so many problems uh, in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, or or John. Was taught by Krishna. Do uh, your job. Fight. He never say sit down. When you are done, you are my friend. You sit down and sleep on this chair. <laughs> and I do. I am God. This is my God. Will do everything for me, and I will sleep. This is my. He does not. If God does not do anything for me, then I don't want. He must be my water supply, and this is going on. This is going on in the name of religion. God give us our daily bread. If we don't supply, I don't want. Just every month. So something is better than nothing. If one goes to God for asking bread, at least it's better than the rascals who at all do not go to God. चतुर्थिता भजते मां सुकृति न अर्जुन आर्थ अर्थात जिज्ञासु गैमी चमृत दिस इज अवर जो गोविंद अभिहितानी में गोविंद एज नैरेटेड निश्चय भगवत गीता अर्थ में And when I remember not to read the instruction, then immediately there is uh, what is called minimizing the manotas chittam dittapo upasaman. Upasaman means relief, immediate. So read Bhagavad Gita. How are these Krishna consciousness moments? Is based on this Bhagavad Gita. We do not manufacture it. रियल रिलीजियस लाइफ में धर्मन को साक्षात भगवत प्रति भगवान से मन मना भो मत भक्त मत जाजी मान नमस्कुरु सिंपली ऑल एस थिंक मी मन मना यू बिकम माई डी वॉटी वॉशिंग मी एंड ऑफ Then you are sure that you are coming back. To so do that, your life is successful.
Thank you.